Welcome back to Sherrod's. We're now here at the Top Pots Donuts. And we're gonna give you guys a donut tour. This tour is called an underground donut tour. And no, we are not physically going underground. Underground means the mom and pop shops, the hidden gems, the unknown shops. Now this tour is being offered in 20 different cities all over the world. The reason Top Pot Donuts is included in the tour because it originated here in Seattle and it was a mom and pop shop. We are now here at one of Top Pot's Donuts original stores and it is known for their cake donuts. We are going to try the glazed old-fashioned cake donuts and the chocolate cake cookies and cream donuts. The glazed donut, I like its sweetness and how it looks, but I am not a fan of the texture. The Oreo chocolate donut, I enjoy the Oreos, but once again, I'm not a fan of the texture. I really enjoyed eating the Oreo donut. It had a cake-like texture. This donut reminded me of a cookies and cream ice cream. I also like the glazed cake donut. It had the right amount of sweetness. Our next stop is Dahlia Bakery. This bakery is owned by Tom Douglas. This is going to be my very first time trying a beignet. These beignets are considered underground because they are not on display. There are two toppings to these beignets. The first one is a strawberry jam. The other topping is vanilla bean infused mascarpone cheese. The strawberry beignet tasted citrusy to me. The beignet with vanilla mascarpone cheese was very delicious. I liked the Dahlia's donuts, the texture and sweetness. The vanilla whip was my favorite and putting them together was the best. For me, the strawberry topping on the beignet was sweet and tart and the vanilla mascarpone cheese topping had the right amount of sweetness. Both toppings were delicious. My first time having a beignet was at Café du Monde in New Orleans. This is where beignets originated. Beignets in New Orleans are soft, fluffy, and airy, and have tons of powdered sugar on top. I could eat a dozen of those beignets in New Orleans and not get full. Now the beignets here at Dahlia's Bakery are heavy and dense, and they have regular sugar on top. They are shaped like a beignet, but I wouldn't call it a beignet. Even when you go to the restaurant, they don't call it a beignet. They call it Dahlia's Donuts. Next, we are going to try the mochi nuts. These mochi nuts are also from Dahlia Bakery. I have had mochi nuts before and they were chewy. These mochi nuts from Dahlia are not chewy. I have also had a mochi nut before. And this is not a mochi nut. And I will show you what a mochi nut is, but not at this tour. Our very last stop is at Daily Dozen Donut Company, which is located inside a famous Pie Place Market. This donut company has been here for over 100 years. These small donuts were good, and it was soft and fluffy. It has a similar texture to the Dahlia's Donuts. Of all the donuts we had today, these were my favorite. I also thought that they were soft and fluffy, and they had the right amount of sugar on top. We hope you guys enjoyed this tour to different donut shops in Seattle with us. Now I'm going to give you guys my own version of a donut tour, and this time we will be doing it in Tacoma. Hello everyone, we are now here at the Tacoma Lakewood area and we're going to start right here at the original House of Donuts. This place has been here since 1959 and in my opinion, they have the best donuts in the entire Washington state. Now for National Donut Day, I ordered two donuts. The first donut is their original glazed donut, and the other donut is their chocolate donut. 
Both donuts are soft and fluffy and has the right amount of sweetness. Our next stop is at Legendary Donuts. Legendary Donuts has seven locations throughout the state of Washington. Legendary Donuts is famous for their doshans. A doshan is a donut and a croissant put together. Now look at their wide array of selections here. Now they do also sell regular donuts here. Now they also have donuts for your dogs. And yes, I will be buying some for Prince and Hudson. So I ordered four Doshans. The one on the top left is the Raspberry Doshan. The one on the bottom left is the Conan Bavarian Doshan. And then the two on the right is the Salted Caramel Doshan. The salted caramel dashan had a good balance of salt and sweetness. I really like the soft buttery dough. Next, I tried the raspberry pull apart dashan. The raspberry was sweet and tart at the same time. The dough was very soft and I really like this donut. Now I'm going to try the Conan the Barbarian dashan. The chocolate frosting on top was really good. Although I'm not a fan of cream filled donuts, I like this one because it wasn't very sweet. We are now here at Mochi Nuts in Tacoma. There are four Mochi Nut locations here in the state of Washington. The other locations are in Tequila, Lake Union, and Edmonds. They sell a huge variety of flavors of Mochi Nuts. They change the flavors every week. Now I ordered three flavors and it came in this Christmas looking box, but it's no longer Christmas. The flavors that I ordered are chocolate, glaze, and ube. The chocolate was really good. The dough of a mochi nut is made of coconut. The taste of the chocolate and the coconut really blended well together. Now I will try the glazed mochi nut. This has a chewy, sweet texture, and I taste more of the coconut in this. I do not taste the flour at all, and that is the difference between a regular donut and a mochi nut. Now I'm going to try the ube crunch. The ube flavor in this mochi nut is strong and overpowering. To me, that is good because I really love ube. This one was my favorite of the three flavors. Here is Hudson, and he's excited to get his cook, his, no, I should say his donut from Legendary Donuts. Him and Prince are gonna share this. See, look at him, look how excited he is. <laughs> Happy dog. Okay, hey Prince, this one's for you. I know you're not into cookies, but we'll try. Now, of course, if Prince doesn't want it, then we give it to Hudson. So I guess Prince only wants the top part of the cookie, so we're going to give the rest to Hudson. Okay, good boy, Hudson. <laughs> We hope you guys enjoyed watching this donut tour video, just like Hudson and Prince enjoyed their donuts. 
and so did Rhoda and I. We enjoyed the donuts we had. Stay tuned for our road trip series. And sorry, Hudson, you don't get to go with us, but we will see you on our next video.